right from that time, we start producing steel, input of raw materials. You know, coal is coming in. We don't have coking coal here. Coal comes in from abroad. It is, it has to wait at the port to unload, you know. There is a lot of congestion at the port. And this is not new. It has been, congestion has been there for the last so many years. We have been waiting for the government to help us in developing our ports. But I think I'm very sorry to say it's not happened. You know, last four or five years before, you know, I came across a seminar where the Ministry of Shipping was there and they had come out with a very ambitious plan of Sagarmala project. Uh, I'm not very sure where the project is today. So, we are currently operating from, I think, six ports in the eastern coast of India. Paradeep being the largest, Gopalpur is there, Damra is there, Haldia is there, and I think one, uh, one more port. But still, outside logistics, from our plant to the port, we are facing problems on wagons, we are facing problems on railways, truck operators are not present, so that's a major problem. Once we reach the port, you know, if you go to the port, how do you store the material? We don't have a vessel coming in at a proper time because of congestion. How do you store the material? It's stored in open yard. We don't have a proper place to store. The material which is of very high value is getting corroded. And when, we, when it reaches the customers, I'm sorry, we face problems. There are a lot of technical problems when it goes to the customers and they use it. They come out with uh, claims on us. So this is what is happening and we are losing our face. Not because we are not giving a world-class product, because we are not able to handle our steel, export our steel properly, our packaging and transportation. All these are very, very, in a very bad shape. 